Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we are going to be going over a couple of cool things in the game. We're going to be going over all of the new bugs and also the koi fish that was added to the game and the best ways to take them out. Now I've spent the last couple days going through and learning the best ways to fight all of these different things in the game. What I will say is we are still missing at least two of the bugs that are supposed to be added to the pond in future updates and one is the leech and the other one is the pond strike. Rider, okay, the pond strider will actually float on top of the pond and will normally hang out on the lily pads that are right over here But and the leech will be all over in there and maybe they'll even put the leech over in the swamp area That is over there And what I will say is how I know that these items are still coming to the game is because we still have items in the dev code That still requires those parts aka the pond strider boots, but we'll talk about that another time But for right now, let's focus on the bugs that are are currently in the game the new insects that we can fight and arachnid i should say that we can fight and also the koi fish and what the koi fish does for its attack if you can block the damage and if you do block the damage how much it takes off but first let's hop in and let's talk about the best way to take out any of the bugs in here so first off for all these bugs i would suggest that all of you guys go ahead and get yourself um, a uh, rebreather mask, either the Bellerville helmet or the guild tube. Both of those are going to be nice to have whenever you're doing any sort of fighting underwater because you'll be able to have extra air. And also, I would suggest having a diving knife and also a bone trident because you're going to need a one of less each. Now. Okay, so here we are. You can see that my actual. Um, diving dagger is damaged um and right over here we're gonna have tadpoles now tadpoles do not fight back when you attack them they tend to just swim away and even if they do uh, swim away you can see that with your diving knife you could do some decent damage to them but the best part is is if you actually have your bone trident guys and you go to attack one of the tadpoles they do swim fast so you want to kill them quick is uh you can tend to kill them in in one hit so uh, come here, Mr. Tadpole. Let me show the wonderful audience what I'm talking about. Stop trying to escape me. Stop trying to escape from me. There you go. One hit and dead. And you guys, it may be like, well, Sam, he was already hurt when you attacked him for a second time. Okay, okay, okay. I will prove my point then. And what I will also say, guys, is the skills that I'm currently rocking are Coup de Grasse, uh, Mertine, and also Cardio Fan. So yes, Coup de Grasse technically could make it so I'm criticaling, but I'm not criticaling every single hit. So when I come in here and I start attacking all these guys, there's one's dead. There's another one dead, and another one dead, and an oh, another one dead. Oh, look at that, a double kill. So yeah, like I said, guys, the tadpoles, super easy to kill. Water boatmen. All right, so the trick with these guys is to get them caught on something and then poke them with your trident, okay? It takes a little bit of practice to be able to take out these guys um, because they can swim kind of fast away, which is one of the reasons why I suggest you guys have fins if you guys are going to try to take out a large number of these. Because even with the trident, without the criticals, you are not doing as much damage as you could be, um, and fighting them off with the diving dagger is very difficult. So you're going to need to kill at least two of them in order to make the bone trident, and then another four of them in order to make your flippers so you're going to need quite a few water boatmen and then you're going to need more boatman fins as you go through and make other things in the game as well what's up there little dude okay so so far we have gone over the tadpoles and we've got over water boatmen the another thing that is not new to this update but is new to being in the pond is the water fleas now water fleas are very easy they are technically a uh, neutral um now so they will actually attack you they do turn red and try to attack you uh, and they're annoying but they don't really do a whole lot of damage so you don't really have to be too concerned with those guys so you can kind of ignore them all it takes is a simple poke from the stick all right so best tips for fighting the uh diving bell spiders here guys so start off your attack from behind attack twice and then swim just swim away just swim away get him to uh follow you and then go back in and attack from the back again it's really easy to kill these guys especially if you have the bone trident the bone trident is going to be the best weapon to fight any of these because the only three weapons that you can use underwater are either a spear slash the trident they both count as a spear weapon the daggers which does include the, the spider fang dagger by the way 
and a shovel. But don't try to kill anything with a shovel in the game because that's just a huge waste of time. All right, so other than that, what I will say is that the Diving Bell Spiders do not have Venom at the moment, although you can harvest Venom from them, so I have to assume that that is going to come in a later update. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you're blocking. They may make them more hostile. They may make sure that they attack quicker, and they do have a three attack move, so you're going to want to be careful with that as well. So on to our last big guy here, the awesome uh, Koi Fish. Now, the Koi Fish is obviously angry. He may be stuck right now. I have to see if he is i'll have to debug him are you stuck are you stuck you look like you're stuck are you stuck uh yeah you're definitely stuck okay let's get him debugged fix creature locations yes okay there he is hey buddy how are you doing with your big noises i'm here to poke you so what i will say is that the koi fish does have a health bar so he technically can die but a lot like the crow he can die but you can't do damage to him all right so i'm just gonna sit here and i'll hold it to block now oh here's one of those wonderful water fleas that are hostile that want to try to attack you what you gonna do about a big guy Ooh, they take more than one hit you're you're stronger than a tadpole all right so here we go it looks like he's coming around he might do his attack now i know he spins around at least five times so um we'll have to bear with him here Come on there, big guy. What you got? Are you are you going up for oxygen? I hope they program that in. You're still gonna spin around some more? You gonna push me with your tail a little bit? I wish he did like a tail slap move. I'll sit here and poke you then. Ooh, look at how big you are on top of the water. Alright, what you got? Come on, actually attack. I showed all the people last time that you could attack. Ooh, smack me with your tail a little bit. That was cool. Thankfully, it didn't do any damage, but uh, that was neat. Really? Ooh, hit me with his tail again. Oh, come on then. Attack. So it looks like he does have some sort of tail attack move. I don't know if that's on purpose or if it's just because he's swimming around or what, but he can definitely slap you with his tail. And any second here, this looks like it's actually going to work this time. I think he's actually going to attack. So should be on the next go around, maybe? Maybe? Nope. Okay. One more then. Um, fish buddy. I appreciate you, but I, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be attacking. Uh, hello? Maybe back up a little bit so he's, uh, so I'm not inside of him. That would probably help. Okay, here we go. Wow. I actually wasn't close enough. Um, to him so all of that time spent wasting um, but what I will say guys is earlier tests that I have done if you block it does about three quarters of your health in full koi armor um, without full koi armor it's gonna do about seven eighths ladybug armor it does about half so uh, you can block it and you can also perfect block it as well but what I will say is I wouldn't suggest it. There's no point in actually fighting the koi fish. I've tested over and over and over again. Throwing something at the koi fish does not actually get him to drop scales. He just does it on his own. So at the moment, that's not built in. So there's no point in actually attacking the koi fish. There's not really a reason to get near him at the moment. So I would say there's no reason to even have to worry about having to block the koi fish because at the end of the day he's not supposed to attack you and you're not supposed to get hit by him anyway because there's no reason to at the moment you don't get anything special from doing it so i just ignore that especially seeing you, know, you can come on down here and pick up all the bones and all of the um the koi scales that you need from right down here and then you'll have almost an infinite supply of both although what i will say from what i've noticed so far is the bones are taking a long time to respawn if not respawning at all 
I've gone through 10 in-game days and I haven't seen any respawning so I don't know if the bones are supposed to respawn or if they're like mints and maybe the koi armor is actually a specialty and the koi and the uh, bone trident is actually a specialty weapon and maybe you're not supposed to get a lot of them. But guys, that is all of the time that I have left for today. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please make sure you guys like the video, subscribe today, turn that bell notification to all. Also, while you guys are at it, go ahead and join up on my Twitter and like the most recent post that I put out there because I challenged Mr. Beast to a awesome, awesome challenge and I'd love to see if he actually responds back to it if you guys can help me out there. But you guys are awesome. Leave me a comment down below and as always, I will see all of you guys in the next one.